wisdom of God and man continuing on. Now, we come to life as it was meant to be lived. Oh, this life was meant to be so simple and easy to find. The remainder of this book will be as simple as El Elohi, Ahaya Jorge, our mighty God intended this life to be. No further time in this section will be spent on convincing any person as to the existence of El Elohi, mighty God, because of this is an answer that can only be found in each person's heart. Rather, the truth of El Elohi, mighty God's own word, shall be given from this point forward. And oh, how simple this truth is. El Elohi Ahaya, our mighty God, throughout history has said many things through many faiths. Choose your faith if you will be but before this, choose the simplicity of what El Elohi, mighty God, has tried to teach his children here through all faiths. In the Bible, Yeshaya Jorge, Yahushua Hamashiach, the Messiah, gave three of his longest teachings ever found in the history of mankind. The third longest teaching regarding life was about the mustard seed worth of faith that is desired of us here in this world. It is not even required. It is only desired. Yeshaya Jorge, Yahushua Hamashiach's second longest teaching was about the kingdom of heaven found in Matthews chapters 5-7. through seven and what awaits us in life. If we do right in this short hundred or so years here, El Elohi Ahayar, our mighty God, chooses his words carefully. He always has it. He always will. Yeshaya, Jorge, Yahushua, Hamashiach, longest teaching by four found in John 13 through 17, concerns who ex exactly God, Yeshaya, Jorge, Yahushua is, and what simple life is expected of us here. El Elohi, mighty God, Ahaya, has never wasted his words with us. Using his wisdom, he wants us to first understand that all we need is but a mustard seed worth of faith to succeed. He then wants us to know of his plan for us and of our place in the kingdom of heaven, which describes the next billion or so years of our life. Finally, and most importantly, El Elohi, Ahaya, our mighty God, wants us to know who he is in our lives and what one thing he expects from us during this life our 100 or so years. Please bear with this Arthur and with God himself and read Yeshaya Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach the Messiah's longest message to mankind. While you read this, realize how little he is asking of us in this life. No matter what anyone tells you, you truly can obtain the mustard seed of faith through any religion or through no religion. No matter what anyone tell you, you can obtain your place in the kingdom of heaven merely by the life you live here in this world. But, and this is important, you can only succeed in life by learning what follows. What follows is the most, ins the most simple explanation of El Elohi, our mighty God, and the one thing that God expects from us during our life, during our time here. What you are about to read is the story of one who has gone before you once lived the life you now live on another planet, made every mistake you had made, and went on to raise his own children, meaning us. This story starts when Judas, who betrayed Yeshua Jorge, Yahushua the Messiah, left the supper the night before Yeshua Jorge, Yahushua the Mashiach, was killed. This is the last great teaching that El Elohi, Almighty God, gave to mankind so maybe we should pay attention to it. I also expect this to be as simple as anything else you have found in this these four books, words in parentheses, or by me. Starting with John thirteen thirty one through thirty three. Therefore, when he, Judas, was going out, Yeshua Jorge said, Now is the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and I, as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, as a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I loved you, that ye also love one another. This one thing that El Elohi, Almighty God, expects us to do with our life here. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have loved one another. Imagine that. His greatest commandment and faith has always nothing to do with it. All God cares about is how we treat others in this life. 
How simple is that? Think about what God could have said here. He could have said by your faith, by your baptism, by your going to church, by your being saved, by your being born again, by his name, or any other hundred of other vanities people preach. But no, Alelo, he is so too simple. All God said was by our treating other people decently, according to the love he has shown us, show, shall the entire world know that we are El Elohim, mighty God's disciples. Not only does faith have little to do with this, but he gave this lesson with no religion name. According to his word here, a Jew can do as well as a Christian, who can do as well as a Muslim, who can do as well as a Buddhist, a Hindu, a Shinto, a native tribe, or even as well as someone who never believed in God. If any person, whether they believe in God or not, can follow just the one commandment that will be called a disciple of God. Elohim, Almighty God, Ahia just said to himself, and if this person can then find just a mustard seed's worth of belief in God, well, this person would be guaranteed a place in the kingdom of God. Elohim, Almighty God's commandments are all so simple. It is only mankind who tries to make things complicated. John thirteen thirty six through fourteen eight. Simon Peter said unto him, Master, whither goest thou? Yeshia answered him, Whither I go, thou cannot follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. Peter said to him, Master, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. Yeshia answered him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto you, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice, three times. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may also be. And whether I go, you know, in the way you know, Thomas said unto him, Master, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yeshia said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man coming unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, mm -hmm. and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Master, show us the Father, and it suffice it, Yeshia said unto him, How have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that had seen me had seen the Father, and how says thou then show us the Father? Yeshaya Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach, as the Logos of Elohim, was the spokesperson of God. He was indeed the only part of God who ever spoke to mankind. This includes every faith and every peoples that ever existed in this entire world. John fourteen ten through eleven. Believe thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwell in me, he does the work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the, the very work's sakes. Can you believe that Yeshua Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach just said? It is not required that we understand God the Father, or that we understand Yeshua Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach, the Messiah. If we can merely believe that is a that there is a God somewhere because of the things he has done in this world, then this mustard seed worth of faith is enough. John fourteen twelve. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on me, that works that I do, shall he do also, and the greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Yeshaya Jorge, Yahushua Hamashiach, the Messiah, just went from the smallest amount of faith, starting with John 14, 1, right into his teaching that we will do everything that he has done here in this world, everything. John 14, 13 through 14, 22. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And finally, Yeshua Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach, the Messiah, just returned from speaking of our future for the next billion or so years, so that one thing that is required of us is this life, keeping his simple commandments. And if 
And I will pray the Father, and he shall give another comforter, give you another, a comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither nor him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. And that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that had my commandments had keep them. He it is that loved me, and he that loved me shall be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas said unto him, Not Iscariot, Master, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Yeshia answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that love me, not keep it, not my saying, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, the Ruach Kadesh, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let no heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Whereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. The prince of this world is Satan. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me his commandments, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Religious folks would tell you differently, but all Yeshaya Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach is about to talk about next in these mustard seeds words of faith in your life here with all of El Elohi, excuse me, mighty God's children. John fifteen four to fifteen eight, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can ye expect ye abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If any man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall come done unto you. This means only if we follow his commandments, indeed all eleven of his commandments. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father have loved me, so have I loved you, continue ye in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in his love. No matter what you believe through faith, it is only the life you live that matters to El Elohi, Almighty God Ahia. The truth of life, indeed, the very words of God here, requires us to extend this wisdom of God to all people and all nations, regardless of the name they place upon their faith. John fifteen eleven through John fifteen twenty six. These things I have spoken unto you that might joy might remain that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full this is my commandment that ye love one another as i have loved you greater love had no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do whatever i command you henceforth i call you not servants for the servants nor not what his master do but i have called you my friends for all things that i have heard of my father I have made known unto you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you 
should go and bring forth fruit and that you your fruit should remain that whatsoever you shall ask of the father in my name he may give it to you these things i command you that you love one another if the world hate you you know that it hated me before it hated you if you were of the world the world would love his own but because you are not of the world but i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hate you remember the word that i said unto you the servant is not greater than his master if they have persecuted me they will also persecute you if they have kept my sayings they will keep yours also but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know not him that sent me god has not been talking about faith or religion here Lelohi, our mighty God, has been talking about those who follow his commandments in their life. If I had not come and spoken unto them that had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin, he that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none of other men did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled, that is written in, the, in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. These things have I spoken unto you, that you should not be offended, that shall put you out of the synagogues, like the churches, yeah, the time coming that whosoever killeth you will think they have done God's service. Yeshaya Jorge, Yahusha Hamasha has been talking about the bad things religious people can do in the name of God. Remember always religious separates, but faith unites. Faith is only about God. El Elohi. John 16, 3 through 16, 19. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you ask me, Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away, for if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. O oh, sin, because they believe not of me, of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged i have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now howbeit when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you all things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. Because of Yeshua Jorge, Yahushua Hamashiach works here, he shall become the Father and our journey shall become exactly that of Yeshua Jorge, the Messiah, our next billion or so years. A little while and you shall not see me, and again a little while you shall see me because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he said unto us? A little while, and you shall not see me again. And again, a little while, and you shall see me, because I go to the Father. They said, Therefore, what is this that he said? A little while, we cannot tell what he said. Now, Yeshua, Jorge, Yahushua knew they were the serious to ask him, and said unto them, Do you inquire among yourselves of that I said? A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while ye shall see me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that you shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and you shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. 
A woman, when she is in travail, had sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembered no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. And you know, therefore, have sorrow. But I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice in your joy. No man take it from you. And in the day you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day you shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world again, and leave the world and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. But this we believe that thou camest from God. Yeshia answered them, Do you now believe? Yes. Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come that you shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. These words spake Yeshia and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hours come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may be glorified thee. As thou have given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Yeshia Jorge, Yahushua, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou hast gave me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I have with thee before the world was. As this author has stated over and over this, these books, here are Yeshia Jorge, Yahushua, the Hamashiach, the Messiah, very own words that he has always been a part of God, our Elohim, meaning plural. For God to glorify Yeshua Jorge Yahushua with his own self means that Yeshua Jorge Yahushua will become the Father. Yeshua Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach graduates to a higher level because of what he has done here in this world. Since the day he made this world with his own hands, know now that you will say these same words sometime in the next billion or so years. You will say them on a world you created with your own hands and on a world you spake to as part of Elohim. And you will ask God your Father for your place upon his throne because of your works upon the world you made. This is nothing greater than for a person to lay down their life for those they love. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thy, they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever you have given me or of, of yours, of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I have come out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Yeshua Jorge Yahushua Hamashiach's work here is finished. The, ha, Yeshua Jorge, the Messiah who made this world, made mankind, and then taught us everything we need to know about God and life. It is time for Yeshua Jorge, Yahushua Hamashiach, to go back to heaven and sit on the throne next to his father. His work here is finished, and the 2,000-year famine of not hearing his words, see Amos 8.11, is about to start. With all teaching finished, the remainder of the words here, or Elohim, mighty God's farewell to the, this world for the next 2,000 years. He has nothing left to give mankind except his farewell. John 17, 9 through 17, 17. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which 
thou hast given me for they are thine or mine all or and all mine or thine and thine or mine and i have am glorified in them and now i am no more in the world but these are in the world and i come to thee holy father keep thou thy own name those who thou hast given me that they may be one as we are while i was with them in the world i kept them in thy name those that thou gavest me i kept and none of them is lost but the son of perdition that the scriptures might be fulfilled and now come i to thee in these things i speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in them i have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world even as i am not of the world i pray not that thou should take them out of the world but thou hast should keep them from evil they are not of the world even as i am not of the world sanctify them through the truth thy word is truth as thou hast sent me into the world even so i have sent them into the world and for their sakes i sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth <coughs> excuse me neither pray for i for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one as the the father art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one. I in them, and they are in me, that they may be perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, Abba, Ahiah, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where i am that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me for thou lovest me before the foundations of the world o righteous father the world hath not known thee but i have known thee and these have known that thou hast sent me and i have declared unto them thy name and will declare it that thou loved wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and i in them this was not the story of Yeshua, Jorge, Yahushua, Hamasha, rather it is the story of God, and it is the story of you because one day we will be the God of our own children on the world we fashion with our own hands. If our life here, not our beliefs, warrants that place on our own world, my friend El Elohi, mighty God, said many things in his longest teachings to us but everything he want us to understand regarding life is summed up in one commandment god first tells us that he is preparing a place in the kingdom for us someday he then tells us that we shall someday do everything he has done this cannot be stressed enough john fourteen twelve. verily verily i say unto you he that believe it on me that works that i shall do he sh do also and the greater works than these shall he do because i go unto my father god also gives one commandment that has been rewarded so many ways but only boils down to loving and respecting all other people in this life the loving is easy but respect requires you to do something anyone who does not show respect in this life is living a lie Go back and read these words one more time, knowing first that you will one day be Yeshua Jorge, Yahushua Hamasha, speaking these words to your own children. Once you realize that you will one day be Yeshua Jorge, Yahushua Hamasha on your own world that you created, you will truly understand the words of God speak, spoken. Words God speaks here as you reread this longest teaching. It is only what we do here in this world that matters god could have said anything he wanted here but these are the words he spoke oh religious folks would have you believe so many things but in this in his last and longest teaching this is all that god said that the only thing that really matters in this life is the way you treat others and the way you treat other people think about that what do you really have in this world ourselves and other people everything else will just fade away ashes to ashes dust to dust but the spirit of mankind given by god lives on oh what god could have said but oh what god did say 
Never mind that God made this world and also made us. This is not important. Never mind that God spent 2,000 years here teaching all his children through all faiths about who he is. This is not important. Never mind that God came here himself and died trying to teach us about life in this world. This is not important. El Elohi Ahayahorhe, our mighty God, gave us ten common sense commandments and wrote these commandments into our genes, our DNA, our minds, or if you prefer, our hearts. Three of these commandments involve the basic belief that El Elohi, mighty God, exists. The rest involve our living a simple and decent life. Because we ignore these simple rules, God then summarized life, entire existence to our finding. Somewhere in our heart, the ability to love other people just as he has loved us. How hard is any of this? It is not. My friend, this book is finished. This author would dearly love to go on for many more thousands of words, but to do so would dilute the wisdom of God taken from around this world and pre present here, presented here. Never let any person tell you how to live your life. Never let this author tell you how to live your life. Your life is nothing but a series of decisions that you make from the day you are born until the day you die. Make your mistakes, enjoy some of them, laugh at yourself for making many of them, curse yourself for a few of them, and cry over the worst of them. But do learn from every decision and every mistake, this is humility, and then adjust your life so as to make mistakes less and less as time goes on. This is honor. Yeshaya Jorge Yahushua Hamasha was very casual about Peter's mistake of denying God three times before the rooster crowed. No matter what you have ever done, nothing can be as bad as this. This is life. Make your mistakes as Peter's did, as Peter did, but learn something from them and then do something about what you learn. Peter did. Knowing just enough about God to believe that He exists, knowing your possible future for the next billion or so years, and developing just the mustard seeds of worth of faith in El Elohi, Mighty God. Who would have ever thought that El Elohi, Mighty God's three longest speeches would teach us that these three truths are all we need in order to understand the course our life should take in this world? Ah, the course of life in this world. This author promised not to tell any person how to live this life, but this author will teach you of a place to go where you can learn how to live your life, and very little of God shall be found in that place, believe it or not. This place is Jerusalem, while it truly was El Elohim, mighty God, Jerusalem, or city of peace. The time was 3,000 years ago, and the man was Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived. Solomon wrote quite a bit much of which is found in the Bible, but Solomon wrote little about God. Solomon's wisdom regarded life as so he requested and received from God. The foundation for this story lies in the events which took place about the time of King David's death and when Solomon had already assumed the throne of Israel. And we're going to stop it there and continuing on tomorrow.